The summer after my sophomore year of high school, I went to the Harvard summer camp. There we prepared the SAT through an intensive course of four hours per day during four weeks. This made me realize how hard the exam was, but it also gave me the tools to become better at it. We were also practicing tennis in the wonderful installations of MIT and um, the SAT classes we took at um, Harvard. After this, when I came back to Spain, I took my first exam and I scored decently, but I still had to push it a little bit if I wanted to access to my dream universities in the Ivy League. But we still went on my first university visit. Um, we visited some liberal arts schools like Bates, Wesleyan, Wellesley, and we also went to Caltech and Dartmouth. And um, there we were interviewed one-on-one -on -one by coaches. It was great. I got that really special experience. I got the feel of all the universities and it was a wonderful experience overall. Um, and then when I came back, I was extra motivated to study hard because I knew I could improve my grade. I had a wonderful teacher, um, Dan Goodman, who, <laughs> whose goal is to master the examination and beat it. So we worked together through Skype and um, he gave me the tools to succeed in the two sections that I struggled the most with. At first it was the reading because I struggled with timing, but once he gave me the tools and the strategy, I got pretty good at it. And then, um, and then we went on to trying to improve my essay writing skills until I finally reached the magical, the magical grade of 700 in all three sections, writing, reading, and mathematics, summing up to a grade of 2180. And then some Ivy Leagues started to show interest. So the summer after my junior year of high school, we visited again, and we went to Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Cornell, Georgetown, and um, it was wonderful. <laughs> Coaches now were really interested in me because of my grades, because I also played tennis. And um, when I got back, it was almost time to apply, and I did, and I ended up in Cornell, which is a dream come true.